Welcome to the ELF Podium installation video series. In this first video, we will guide you through the very initial stages of setting up your ELF Podium system. The multimedia controller is what allows the ELF system to be controlled through its 7-inch LCD touch panel. It is used as a bridge between the rest of the ELF's hardware and any peripheral devices that may be connected. The wireless microphone receiver, AWM-82R, is used to acquire the signals from the ELF's two wireless microphones. It's also used to determine what channels the microphones will operate at and set their basic volume levels. The audio amplifier, AMX-3030D, powers the ELF's audio output to external speakers. Audio from the wireless microphones, operating computer, and any other devices you choose to connect to the ELF will have their audio sent to external speakers through this amplifier. Finally, the power distributor, APD600, acts as a central power source for the ELF's hardware and regulates the voltage that each piece of hardware requires. Upon receiving the ELF, do not try to move it alone. It is extremely heavy and requires two or more people to move safely. Once in place, remove the ELF from its box and wrapping. The front access panel shown here will need to be removed during the ELF's installation. We will soon show you how to do so. Moving to the back of the ELF will reveal its sub-monitor, keyboard tray, and main access door. The main access door's lock can be found on the side of the ELF. Remember that this lock also secures the sub-display. Fully opening the ELF will reveal its LCD tablet monitor, mouse pad, 7-inch touch control pad, equipment storage drawer, and operational hardware. Beside the 7-inch touch control pad, the LCD tablet monitor's elevation control switch can be found as well. Above the tablet monitor are the gooseneck microphone connection, power switch, RFID card reader, and laptop and external hardware connection interface. Open the storage drawer to ensure you have received the ELF's microphones. You should have one wireless lav microphone, one wireless handheld microphone, and the gooseneck microphone that attaches directly to the podium. Also check that you have received the channel adjustment tool. This is used to adjust which wireless channels the lav and handheld microphones will operate on. You should also have an electromagnetic pen for use with the tablet monitor, as well as your RFID cards. You must be able to access the hardware connections, and so you will need to remove the front access panel. The switch to remove the panel can be found under the mouse pad on the inside of the podium. Pulling the switch will release the front access panel and allow you to reach the hardware connections. Never pull on this cover, as the switch must first be pulled to release the podium's locking mechanism from the locking bar. For your convenience, you may also want to remove the main access door during installation. This can be done by releasing the door's top hinge, also found under the mouse pad. The ELF's hardware will already have been connected during the assembly stage in the factory. All you will need to do to get the ELF running is to connect your computer to operate the system. First, choose the mouse, keyboard, and computer that will be dedicated to the ELF. Place the computer you have chosen into the ELF. Remember that it will need to be stored on its side. This will not affect its operation. Next, place the keyboard on the pull-out keyboard tray and route its wire through to the back. Route the mouse cable through the hole found near the mouse pad and place the mouse here. Make sure that the ELF's power cable, originating from the power adapter, has been run through one of the holes on the ELF's bottom left or right. Moving to the back of the ELF, you should find three groups of cables. First, you can connect the power cable to the computer's power jack. Next, connect the computer's keyboard and mouse to their associated jacks on the computer. The mouse and keyboard in our example require a USB connection. In the group of cables originating from the multimedia controller, 
Find the blue VGA cable. Connect it to the video out port on your computer. This cable will connect your computer to the ELF's tablet monitor. Next, connect the DVI cable to your computer. This cable is connected to the ELF's sub-display, and connecting it to your computer will enable you to operate with dual displays. Look for the audio output and input cables that need to be attached to the computer. If you look at the back of the amplifier, these cables are attached to the PC audio out and in ports. The cable originating from the audio out port should be connected to your computer's green audio out port. The cable originating from the audio in port should be connected to your computer's pink audio in port. Connect the remaining USB cables to your computer as well. These are for data sharing, laptop interface connection, and touch sensitivity with the ELF's tablet monitor. Now it's time to connect your ELF to the internet or an external network. This can be done by connecting an external LAN cable to the ELF's multimedia controller. The port you should connect the LAN cable to is titled LAN IN. You can route this LAN cable into the podium by using the same hole you routed the power cable through. Finally, attach the remaining LAN cable to your computer. After completely connecting the computer, it's safe to connect the ELF to an external power source. Turn on the ELF's main switch and power distributor switch. You can also now adjust the tablet monitor's angle. Pushing the switch up will result in the monitor rising. It will stop itself when it reaches its maximum height. The tablet monitor's power and control buttons can be found at its bottom right. Pushing the elevation switch down will result in the monitor lowering. It will stop itself when it reaches the bottom. The controls for the sub-display can be found on the bottom of the slide-out panel. The gooseneck microphone can be connected to the audio jack at the top right of the podium. It can also be left on, as the sliding monitor panel has a notch to accommodate the microphone when closed.